guys, it's Lizzie. So today I'm gonna to be doing my TBR for the Booktubeathon. If you didn't already know, the Booktubeathon runs from the 24th through the 30th of July. And I'm actually really excited for this. For this, I have a pretty set-ish TBR in that I only have one book pick for each challenge. Sometimes I'll go into readathons and say like, here's a couple of books that'll fit each category and then pick from those. But I decided this time to be a little more set, just so I kind of have a more, okay, here are the books you need to finish to complete all of the challenges. The only one that I have picked two for is one that I'm just not sure how much time I'm gonna have to complete it during that week. Um, so I'm gonna pick during that time. I should have a couple of days off during the Booktubeathon to actually read for one of the challenges, um, which is the only one that I have to really plan for, but we're gonna see. So, jumping right in. So, the first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover. For this, I chose We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. Um, part of this is it does complete the challenge. There are people on the front cover, but the other reason is I had a friend give me uh, six books that she wanted me to read and I gave her six books I wanted her to read and she actually gave me a copy of this not knowing I owned a copy so I want to read it since it was one that obviously I was interested in enough that I purchased the book and then obviously she loved it enough to recommend it to me and she hasn't been wrong so far in books she suggested to me so definitely wanting to pick this up and since it fit the challenge, I thought, why not read it during the Booktubeathon? The second challenge is read a hyped book. Now for this, I picked a book that I have already read the first book in the series, but the first book was so hyped that I picked it up. So I'm picking up Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Now I have already started this, but my whole thing is I started this back last October, so like 10 months ago, and I don't remember what happened. So I'm gonna restart this, hopefully during the Booktubeathon and hopefully finishing it. The third challenge, it's a book you can complete in one day, whether that be in one sitting or just during the day. I'm a pretty good reader in that I can finish books in one day. So, I mean, technically a lot of these might fit into that category, but for it, I decided to pick The Hostel Hospital by Lemony Snicket. This is the eighth book in the series Unfortunate Events. And I know I can read his books fairly quick to start with, but this is definitely one that I can finish in a day. Um, if it ends up being the only book I finish in one day, <laughs> we'll find out. But um, I've been wanting to continue on with the reread, so I figured perfect time to pick this up. Challenge number four is pick a book where the main character is different from you. And I picked Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. Now I don't know where the dust jacket is for this book, but this is the fourth in the Percy Jackson series. And the main character is a boy, which I am not, but he is also a demigod, which I am not. So, pretty different, I would think. The next one is the one that I do have two books picked because it's read a book outside. Now, if I have my days off like I should, I should be able to read outside because I wanna go sunbathing anyway. But if either I lose my days off because it's a possibility, um, I do tend to get called in a lot, or, if the weather's really bad on the days that I'm off and I can't go outside because we've had one of the rainiest summers of my entire time living in the state of Texas. So if the weather's really bad on one of the days, I've picked one book that I could read in one sitting outside and then the other I picked in a, if I have multiple days, then it's a good one to pick as well. So the First one, which is if I have multiple days, and that is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Now, I have heard nothing but great things about this book, and I actually got a copy of her newest book that just came out, which I'm not entirely sure what the title is off the top of my head, but I got an ARC from work, so I've been dying to pick that up, but I really wanna pick up her first book because I've heard amazing, amazing things about this. Um, and also when I get into thrillers, I don't want to put them down and I believe that's what this is considered. So I'm hoping that I just pick it up, I start reading and I just want to stay outside and read it for the entire time. So if I have multiple days that I can go outside or if I get pulled in and read the entire thing, this would work for reading outside. 
but if something happens and I can only be outside for one day, or if I'm just in the mood for a graphic novel, I have The Neverwares by Fiona Smith. I picked this up by chance at my library. From what I understand, this is a book set in the future where it's supposed to be the last century of humans because of destruction and such. The human race faces extinction is what it says on the back cover. I don't really honestly know a ton about this. I picked it up honestly because of the cover. So um, this could fit another challenge. You'll see in a second. But um, I've been wanting to pick this up, so I thought, you know what? If it ends up that I'm in the mood for a graphic novel or I don't have as much time to read a novel outside, this is something I might pick up. Number six is a book that you bought because of the cover. Now, for those of you that have been following my channel for a decent amount of time, you may know that I'm obsessed with UK books. Like, I love the UK editions. And so I saw the spine of this book and I go, I've never seen that spine before. And this is a pretty popular book. So I was like, I've never seen that spine before. And I go, I bet you it's a UK edition. Because I own one of his other series in the UK editions. And they're all the same size, I believe. But I just looked at it and I was like, that has to be a UK book. Because it's this beautiful edition of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, which I have not read yet. Um, but again, another book I've heard nothing but amazing things about, although I'm going to be real, I don't know what this book is about. All I know is it's great and it makes people cry. But look at that cover. It's so pretty. Oh, guys, just look at it. So that definitely fits a book that I bought because of the cover. And challenge number seven is the same challenge that it is every year, and that is read seven books. Um, if I stick to just one book per challenge, i.e. if I only pick one of those two books for the outside book, I will be at six books. So I've picked another short book as book number seven, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I picked Gwendy's Button Box by Stephen King and Richard Chismar, I think is how you say the last name. Um, one of my coworkers brought this book to our morning meeting because our morning meetings tend to be uh, information about the day and then uh, they tend to have the book floor people because I work in the like cafe side of things, but um, they had the book floor people bring books to talk about and one of my coworkers talked about this and it just, the moment he finished describing it, I literally was like, I have to go look that up on Goodreads now because I want to read it. So I checked it out from my library and I've been dying to pick it up, but there was something telling me to hold off on reading it and I think it's because I needed to read it for this, woo, hitting my camera, for this readathon. So um, this is probably gonna be picked up during that week if I can make myself wait that long. I, I don't know a ton about this except for there's a girl who has a box and when you press one button you get good things if you press another button, you get good things, but if you press a certain button, it kills people or something like that. I don't remember exactly what he said the premise was, and I feel like that's the best way to go into this, but I just remember when he talked about the book, I was like, I have to read that. So hopefully I will. So those are the books I'm hoping to read during the booktubeathon. Who knows, we may get to the week and I am in a huge reading slump, or we may get to the week and I read all of these plus more books. Doubtful. Don't count on that. But if you want to let me know what you're reading for the book Tubeathon, I'd love to discuss it down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to click that thumbs up button. And if you want to see what books I actually end up reading for the book Tubeathon, make sure you click that subscribe button because then you'll get all my videos, including my wrap ups, in your subscription box. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!